We know you've got opinions. That's what the 401 show is all about. We're not just here to entertain you. We're here to get you talking about things like drugs, relationships and alcohol. Whether it's on Twitter, Facebook or our YouTube channel, we'll be listening, responding and including what you've got to say in the show. A new episode is uploaded every Sunday at 4.01, so get involved in the debate. On this week's 401 show, we talk breakups, friendship and hair. Plus, we check out the future of film at the First Light Awards. This week, we've come to the Odeon Leicester Square for the First Light Awards, which celebrates the best of young filmmakers from all around the UK. I'm excited. As usual, we had loads of comments on last week's episode. I checked to Dan and Phil, mm -hmm. and you guys loved it. You really did. We had Iki who said, uh, Phil gave some really insightful advice. Caitlin said, I know how Phil feels with not ringing the hairdressers. I never ring to order pizza or anything like that. I never ask the waiter for the bill either. I hope that one day I'll get over it. Oh, Caitlin, please get over the pizza thing. How are you going to survive at uni? Yeah. But um, how was your DMC? Oh, it was so good. It was lovely to see those boys. Mm -hmm. I could have stayed on that sofa all day. I heard you did. Great. Please do keep chatting on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Give me your best cinema voice, Karina. Come on. Now it's time for How to Win at Life! <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. This week's top tip comes from a special guest. Oh. How to break up with your best friend. In at number five, just come out with it straight. They need to know. In at number four, tell them that maybe you aren't getting on as well as you used to and you should spend some time apart. At number three, calmly ask them if they think you've grown apart over the past months and if they feel the same. In at number two, just explain that you've both changed and that maybe you should stop being friends. At number one, our top tip comes from YouTuber Tyrannosaurus Lex. Hello, my name is Lex, aka Tyrannosaurus Lex, and I'm here on this week's How to Win at Life to give you advice on how to break up with your best friend. Don't blurt out that you don't want to be friends anymore in the middle of an argument. Saying something like that in the heat of the moment is always going to end up with more hurt feelings than necessary. Don't gang up on someone with other people to tell them that you don't want to be their friend anymore. Be direct about why you don't think the friendship is working for you anymore, but don't just give them a long list of their flaws. Tell them in person, not by text or email. That way there won't be any confusion about tone of voice or how you really feel. And finally, unless they've done something really terrible to you, like stealing your cat, it's probably best not to treat this as a complete breakup. Instead, maybe tell them that you want to spend more time with other friends, but that you will still have time for them sometimes. This will give them a chance to branch out and find new friends without feeling like they've been completely dumped and they're all on their own. And those are my words of wisdom, so I hope they help. Someone's about to arrive, check out the car, check out the car. It's a taxi with blacked out windows, which means it must be a celebrity. An A-lister, I'm guessing, potentially B. While that's happening, should we catch up on this week's talking point? Yeah. Last week's came from Ade, who plays Yemi in Youngers. He wanted to know this. Who is it? I don't know. Do you think R&B and pop lyrics can be too sex obsessed? It was by far the hottest topic we've covered so far. You guys would just not stop talking about this, so thanks so much for all your opinions. Here's just a few of them. Tara said, My seven-year-old cousin came round the other day and was singing Looked Out of Heaven by Bruno Mars, and not the clean version. Mm. I was horrified. Oh. Nicole says, Pop and R&B lyrics are way too sexy. These pop stars need to remember that they probably have a very young fan base who will mimic them and sing their songs and not know what they're singing. That's Good very point, true. Nicole. Helen says, I think so, but what else is there to sing about? Songs about buying toothpaste aren't as good. Hey! I don't know. Don't assume. Since when did you hear a song toothpaste. about toothpaste? I love my toothpaste. So I love that minty. minty paste. So fresh. Please do Get keep commenting. We're all ears. I've snuck upstairs now, backstage at the First Light Awards, to speak to some of the winners and presenters about how film has inspired them and got them talking. Do you think that film can help young people talk about issues? Yeah, it, it can because there's, there's a lot of young people that aren't very confident to go and speak to people and sometimes they just try and bottle it in. It stops the problem being personal and helps them show that everyone might have the problem. It's usually just films that, and TV shows that show you that in the end you can sort of sit back and be happy to be who you are. You don't have to hide anything, you know. There's not a problem with being you. So why should you feel that there is? If you see your idol or like um, a character that you associate with and they're in the same sort of position as you, it makes you realise that it, 
that it's, you're not alone. That's the main thing. Like that it's not just about uh, you know the excitement of film and just the entertainment. Uh, but I think uh, film's uh, a really yeah, important I mean, way of you know getting important I'm, messages I'm, across yeah, and yeah, talking know, about no, issues and, and you know a sort of a medium to sort of start those discussions in the media. Um, we have a responsibility to uh, be, you know, mindful of how we represent those issues, but also, you know, how we encourage kids to talk about them. Film is about telling stories, and good things happen in the world and bad things happen in the world. And the chief aim of a movie is to tell a story that we believe and that reflects the world around us. You know, so obviously there's going to be bad stuff in there too. You know, I think film can definitely be a great way mm. to express how you feel and let others know mm. that that this is happening and this is what you can do to stop it. There are pigeons, there are people, we're definitely in the way. It's only time for Spinderbrella. Spin! <laughs> Jesse J! Ah, last week it was comic relief and Jesse J took the bold move of shaving all her hair off. Don't you mean the bold move? Bold, bold potato potato. It's the it's same joke. thing, you no, know? It's a joke. Yeah. We've had some tweets. Tammy says, I salute Jessie J for shaving her hair off for charity. It takes a lot of confidence to be able to shave all your hair off. I definitely couldn't do it. My hair grows about a centimetre every five years. Well, I've got a weird shaped head. You do have a weird shaped head. Oh. Thanks. What do you guys think? Would you ever have the confidence to do something like that? Let's give it a spin. Spin, spin. Oh, it's getting there. Oh, Louis from One Direction. <laughs> One Direction of ditch booze in favour of peppermint tea. They're staying sober before mm. all performances from now on. It's pretty sensible and mature of those guys. Yeah, I think they've been watching How to Win at Life. How do you know? Well, because we did a How to Win at Life on how to say no to a drink at a party. Oh, uh, yeah, we did. Our number one fans, mm. obs. Mm -hmm. Should we spin the wheel? Sure. Spin! That's what makes them brutal. Uh oh You didn't. I did. Who's that? Selena Gomez. Oh, that's not a good photo of her. Yeah, it's really not. Last week, Selena Gomez uploaded a personal video to YouTube where she's dancing along to a song called Your Boyfriend is a Douchebag. I saw this. Yeah. Uh, we've been racking our brains. <laughs> and we just can't think who it could possibly be about. <laughs> Selena, be a bit more obvious, please. Who could it be? Never Say Never on Twitter says, at Selena Gomez, you've got a stab, girl. What are your views on what Selena did? Is it okay to have a dig at an ex or should you try and be the bigger person? Let us know what you think. That's it for Spindabella. Last week we asked you guys to come up with a name for yourselves. We asked you to vote and you decided on the 401sies. Mm. So there you are, that's your name. Take it and do with it what you will. Hey, what's the final word on um, your DMC with Dan and Phil? Well, Hearts and Stripes 101 says, Embrace the hamsters, Phil! Now, if you don't know what that means, you obviously haven't watched last week's episode. So you should. The link is here. Check it out. We're live on Twitter next Wednesday at 4.01. Be there or be square. Or hexagon or triangular. Triangular. We'll see you next week. Nice jacket. Around, Thanks, I'm just going to say the same to you. Thank you. Look, you look 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 can I like this button? Yeah, this button's yeah, good. I stitched this button on myself last night. It fell off and I repaired it. Well, I say you've done a good job on it. Good button choice. Thanks very much.